I found that there was a real gap in the market for well-defined guides for designers and developers when it comes to creating websites for people with cognitive disabilities. So like dyslexia and Asperger's. It began with my little sister who has learning difficulties and then from that I kind of started researching it more. It has been a success but there's a lot of expansion that needs to be done um, but there's a lot of things that I did find and um, I did create more well-defined rules to help designers and developers. There's a lot of thought, thought about accessibility for websites, but particularly to auditory and visual impairment. But to have some, someone look at it in terms of cognitive impairment, I think is, is quite new. The Web Multimedia degree has been great for developing my knowledge with web development. I didn't know hardly anything when I came here. And now, you know, I'm building websites quite quickly. Um, and it's also helped me with design as well and user experience. The Web Multimedia degree has got really great tutors, you know, you can approach them if you've got a problem um, and they help you out a lot with your work and yeah, it's a great course. So we're a very much a sort of from, from bare bones basics course, so she's got a really good understanding right from week one, year one, thinking about how websites are built and, and thinking about the users and that sort of two-way process. We have a wide variety of areas and disciplines, the video production, audio production, TV production, a whole range of sort of media, and that's a really useful skill to be able to have understanding and awareness of how all of that fits together. I went to the British Conference for Undergraduate Research and I really enjoyed the presentation and it gave me a lot more kind of experience of talking to other people on project which was quite which was fun and I made a lot of new friends as well. Yeah I think it went really well um, I wasn't too nervous and I got across everything I wanted to get across um, and the questions at the end I think I dealt with quite well as, as well so it was good. The company that I'm going to work for after university want me to put what I've learned and apply it to projects I'll do with them. So I'll carry on the research and carry on the work that I've been doing. It's a field that's probably going to grow quite quickly, but I think Becky's got in near the beginning and, and could, could become one of the experts in it. And I'm really, really pleased that her employment has come as a direct result of her project. This year our web multimedia students pretty much 100% have got employment uh, in an area that they're interested in, so we've been really, really pleased across the board.